Hi everyone, welcome to Wilton Mill. It's round six of the 2022 Faster Wilton Mill Car Club Championship. Alex Goldschmidt, John by John Ratcliffe. Uh, John, 225 odd drivers here, plenty of action on the cards and what's more, the weather's on our side. I know, it's unbelievable. I've, I've come for a couple of rounds of WMKC now. It's been mixed weather at different events, but today actually looking quite nice. As you say, a lot of drivers, so we could be in for some interesting action. Yes, indeed, quite a few. Uh, they're about to get underway with the practice side of things. So we're going to go for a little bit of a wander here at Wilton Mill. Now this track, lots of elevation changes, lots of technical parts of the circuit. It's really going to challenge the drivers as, we, as we've seen over the past five rounds, John. And I don't think it's going to be any different here today. No, it should be crazy. This track is just unbelievable. Definitely one of the best in the UK and a fantastic venue for such a car club. And uh, yeah, as you say, I've raced there a couple of times and it always produces some interesting action. Watch out for the gate behind you. And uh, we're going to continue around <laughs> to the paddock to chat with some drivers this morning. Hopefully, uh, no, actually, as excited a, as Actually, us. no, I need, to, I, I need to catch up oh, with okay. somebody. Oh, okay, we're going over here. If I can, <laughs> Mike Spencer. How are we doing? How are we doing, all right? Yeah, good to see you. Um, you've been very busy these days. I mean, Synergy's uh, traveling the, the country at the moment. Uh, some good successes in the Motorsport UK British Car Championships as well. How are things looking for, for this weekend? Uh, yeah, it's going well at the moment. Uh, first heat yesterday with a one, two, three. Uh, a couple of them got involved in a couple of incidents, but it's, it's busy grid out there and it's nature in the circuit a little bit. Well, Michael, the very best of luck to you and all the guys at Synergy today. Thank you very much. See so good to catch up with Mike Spencer. Actually, former Rye House London Cup winner back in 2019. If anyone might remember that one, I do remember that one, and so does Anthony Jordan. So. As we don't mention that name here. No, we don't. We don't mention that name here. Ah, we don't mention that <laughs> name here. Okay, right. So, effectively, the Honda Cadets are about to go for their their warm up. Yeah. But we've got probably the best part of well over 20 races here today. It's going to be fast. It's going to be furious action. We're going to try and see if we can catch up, maybe with a couple of drivers. They are all getting ready uh, to go out there, but. One of the things I like about this championship as well is you haven't just got the established teams. You've also got all the dad and lad or the, uh, the dad and daughter side of things as well, where independents can come and run and run competitively in this championship as well. Yeah, they really do. You don't just see those big teams at the top. You can see a lot of upsets, and especially when we have uh, different drivers going to different events on different weekends, we can see different drivers up and down the order really showing themselves. I remember a couple of uh, couple of rounds ago, we had a few drivers at BKC instead of being here, and it meant that a few drivers that maybe we hadn't seen near the top were up near the top this time, and it was great to give them some time on the stream. But uh, yeah, as you say, they were getting ready to go out for practice. Now, this won't be their first time out on track uh, for this, this weekend anyway. They should have had some races and practice yep. yesterday as well but for today you need to get back in the car get back in the seat get feeling themselves and as you can see the game the engine's ready about to go out yeah definitely i mean uh i think jarrett clark if memory serves me correctly actually won the the first honda cadet heat there's yes. four of them in total um there's a lot of competitive drivers there's drivers that i've actually remember back from when they were either in bambinos or honda cadets i mean we're just coming past croc promotion who've got a uh, a, a big old awning here. I mean, the awnings never fail to amaze we, me. We always dive in this awning every time. Do we? So, uh, I Do you want like to take the lead on this? Yeah, let's go for right. it. Well, let's follow have John a and we see, can see a driver. Try and, uh, there's any drivers that want to have a chat with me. Nothing can spot any. There might be a, a driver's briefing. I can see someone in a, in a okay, race suit right. down here. You, let's you let's lead the way, then. continue down here through the awning. He's spotted me already. Oh, he's, he's trying to run away now. He's seen me. He really doesn't want to have a chat. I feel bad. Uh, I feel bad leaping on him. So let's uh, let's continue down. Chat to this driver, the number 45. So would you mind having a chat with me? Would that be all right? So number 45. Who do we have here? Ollie Cook. Ollie Cook. How are you doing this weekend, sir? How's the cart feeling? Uh, wasn't great yesterday, but slightly improved in the first seat. But wasn't great. When did you come in the first seat? Uh, 28th, I think, from 30th. So. Okay. It's not so bad. What's the what's on the game plan for today? Uh, just to get quicker, to be honest. Yeah, but any idea of kind of position that you might be going for? Top 25 would be all right, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Well, good luck, mate. Good luck and uh, good luck today. So yeah, let's continue around, chat with a few other drivers. Look, so many carts in here. A few yeah. with a few more scuffs than than others, maybe. Uh, yeah. I mean, that, <laughs> that that's always part and parcel of yeah. Karting. I do say well, there's a new sticker kit going on for the final lap. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see, you've already dropped yourself in it before we've even gotten started on the actual commentary whoops. for today. Yeah, that's a definite big whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, Honda Cadets uh, making their way for their respective practice sessions. 
So let's see who else we can grab a hold yeah, of. Yeah, there's a lad that wants to have a chat back here, I think, mate. Ah, right. Okay. Let let. <laughs> come on, come on. Right. Okay. So, uh, just tell us what number you are and what uh, your name and what class you're racing in today. Um, I'm McCauley Guy. I'm number 38, racing an X30 Junior. X30 Junior. Always brim filled with with action. I mean, how's it been yesterday in the first in the first heat? Uh, not very good. Uh, we started eighth. Uh, we had a brilliant initial start, up to fifth through the first few corners, but we kind of got pushed wide at the downhill hairpin, uh, so we got onto the grass and we just lost, lost we, went, we fell right to the back. So what's the plan of action for today then, Macaulay? Uh, starting 13th, so hopefully getting a top 10, and 19th, so maybe a top 10, but hopefully a top 15. Well, all the very best of luck for today, all right? Thank you. So really good to catch up with, uh, with the drivers as well. We're going to try and take a little bit of a further walk down the paddock as there's a bit of a round of applause for Macaulay Guy there uh, <laughs> running an X30 Junior. It's really nice to see that, pit, that, you know, mechanics and dads or parents are just egging them on, aren't they? Yeah, they just want them to do, they just want them to do really well. That's what we want to see. We want to see, watch out for a car behind you. Yep. We want, to, we want to see everyone just do well today and enjoy themselves and no injuries, just great racing out on track. And that's what everyone's here for. Isn't and, it? and now the rumble signals that the Honda Cadets yes. are finally out on the circuit. That itself. low, distinctive rumble of the Honda Cadets. Yeah, it's always, uh, it's always a very, very nice engine noise. I mean, we have, uh, you know, the different powertrains where it comes to, uh, you know, the Honda Cadets. You've then got the X30s, you've then got... Uh, the Rotax classes as well, so Minimax, Junior Rotax, Senior Rotax uh, represented here uh, this weekend. Uh, there's Coles Racing. So quite a few, I think. Ah, right. Let's grab an interview with your good self. Uh, right, tell us your name, your number, and what class you're running in. I'm James Sherrington, I'm number 14, I'm in Minimax. Um, yesterday went quite well, I finished third, for something from 12th. Yeah. So I'm looking for something quite good today. What a stern competition. I mean, Minimax is always filled with action as always, but how are you finding it with, with the competition out there so far? Um, it's always quite difficult in Minimax at the moment. There's lots of like, big names out there who are very competitive, but I'm getting, a bit, I'm getting fast enough, I'd say, to compete at the front round, Wilton Mill. So I'm hoping probably to be in the top six today for the final. OK, well, all the very best of luck for today. Thank you. Again, it's really great to, you know, we, we've... We spoke with other drivers, a nice customary Jenny there. <laughs> um, it, it's always, uh, I mean, at least the good thing is here at Wilson and other tracks around the United Kingdom and also in continental Europe, they do actually have a curfew time for that. So good. I'm sure that will be packed up very, very soon as soon as they've, they've used all the, the juice in that one. I was going to say, it's going to be costing them a bit. <laughs> I'm on the leg at the moment, really. <laughs> Don't talk <laughs> to me about that. Don't talk to anybody about fuel prices at the moment, <laughs> Sorry, myself yeah. included. It's an unmenable topic right now. No yes, one wants to speak it's, about it's this. a sore subject and we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Um, but again, you know, just really good to see that the paddock, a hive of activity. There is one tent that I am trying to locate, and I can't see it at the moment, is the X-Cart tent, because there's one ah. particular driver who I want to catch up with. We'll continue walking around, we'll see if we can, uh, it's probably, see if we can spot it's it. It's probably going to be round there, because you've got to... hiding somewhere. Yeah. We'll, we'll, take a, we'll take a trip back as well, don't yeah, worry. Yeah, definitely. We'll definitely. make sure. But yeah, lots of carts getting wheeled out, as you say. Uh, I remember last time, we got luckier this time than we did last time. Because last time when we tried to do uh, the paddock walk, everyone went to the driver's briefing. <laughs> so that really yes, I remember good. that. But, because uh, uh, look, yeah, someone today. tried to go into the X cart awning and found that the, the, the main sort of entrance to the tent was zipped up yes. and no one was in there. Not a dicky bird. So probably, we're going to try and catch me. up with yeah. them. <laughs> I don't think it was you. I think okay. it was somebody else. But... Okay, for once, it's not me making the blunder. <laughs> but I mean... No, I can't spot them. So I, think I reckon they, we might, continue. they might be over that Just way. Continue walking around. Yeah, let, 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 let's have a bit more of a continue wander as we here. see all the, the normal sights of a carting paddock. Yes. Uh, yeah. Lots of lots of rocks underfoot. Ah, Typical right. Typical of a carting paddock. Oh, I can see a couple of nice carts over here. Yes, and I think uh, there might be a driver who's who you might want to interview as well, or a couple maybe. Yeah, we can have a chat to a few. We've got a couple of Lando Norris carts over here as well. Yeah. Number five and the number eighty-seven. See if anyone wants to have a chat with us. Before their race. Getting get the stretches, hello. <laughs> You're getting the stretches in, mate. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. You want to have a trip, quick chat? I do, yeah. So, number, number 95 is you? Yeah. What's your name, sir? What are you racing in? Uh, Callum Davis, senior Rotax. Have you been in the championship all year this year, or is this kind of new? No, this is our second round this year. Okay, how's it been going for these two rounds? Yeah, or the pretty first good. Round, even? Yeah, the uh, last round we did, we did uh, well. Had a good, uh, good few heats, and then 
final was alright. So we've done good so far. Nice. How's the cart feeling? And then the, the beautiful Lando Norris cart. Yeah, I really like it. This year it's performed well for us. Um, can't really complain about it. Nice, that's good. And what's uh, what are the goals for today? Just uh, get, don't bend it, don't crash, <laughs> get through the pack as quick as we can. That's that's the nice. aim. I think that's a pretty good idea. Well done, yeah. mate. Thank you and good luck. Cheers. Cheers. So yeah, just don't bend it. I think that's probably a good one for, uh, that's for most probably, people. That's this probably weekend. the best thing he he actually said, which was not to bend the chassis, not to break the chassis, yes. because uh, again, you know, you, you're seeing a lot of these, uh, you know, open air awnings, mm -hmm. but also a lot of vans that are being con converted into mobile homes where people actually ferry their carts to and from. Uh, the track from their humble abodes mm -hmm. wherever they are in the UK I mean I know that some drivers have actually come all the way down from Scotland Kasper Tomanovsky running in Mini Max this weekend in the number 20 comes all the way down from Glasgow of all places <laughs> that is quite the drive um, I was going to say that w that's, that's one thing about Wilton Millers it's actually quite nicely placed in the UK for people to get to but when I mean, you're coming from Scotland everything's far away at that point so. uh, yeah I mean I think uh, what was it the trip to PFI for them is not, not exactly a stone's throw away either mm. uh, but we are heading down a little bit further down uh, we've got Thule Motorsport just over here to our immediate left and then at ah, right I have just spotted the X cart tent and there is a little bit of activity going on Ooh. so let's see I think they've ready. got well well they're getting the juniors <laughs> ready so Harry Hurstgrover in the 114 in juniors and then also uh, Jacob Jukes mm -hmm. number 34 who has been uh, factoring into the top 10 in this uh, in this championship over quite a few rounds uh, this season. Um, uh, they also compete in the Cadet Car Championship as well, which uh, I think next week heads to uh, GYG for their fifth round out of eight. Uh, so people come from far and wide. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, it's, well, you, you, you get from a humble Fiesta yeah. <laughs> to a Mercedes AMG GT. How's about that for, for different walks of life in the paddock here at Wilson Mill? I'm going to say it's probably not owned by one of our Honda Cadet drivers. Uh, no. But, uh... <laughs> well, you, never, you never know, you never know. It could be. Right, smack bang Inspiring next to it. Vehicle, it? Yes. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, Beautiful. sorry, car spotting here and a Porsche Cayenne <laughs> just out of the blue as well. But it's, it, it's, it's really good to see the hive of activity. I mean, there was a, a hustle and bustle with regards to the, the driver's briefing uh, mm -hmm. just by the main, main cafeteria. So one of the things that I want to try and do is if I can grab him is I'm going to catch up with Leon Barlow in the number Fire 42 away, if he is in here. Right, he's probably gone out for practice. Must have done. <laughs> but we uh, missed it. Ah, right. Come on. <laughs> right, we're going to get You're somebody here. else though from <laughs> Xcart. I've, I've already interviewed this man once this year, Jacob Jukes. No, 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 you're not the backup plan. I was going to try and collar you anyway, but... Um, but it's been a pretty busy year for you, uh, Cadet Kart Championship, also Wilton Mill Kart Championship as well. Um, I know that you picked up a victory uh, in Lyd uh, a few weeks ago. You're heading to GYG for the next round, but how's things been this season so far here at WMKC for you? Yeah, it's been all right. I think at the start of the year we struggled with a little bit of bad luck, as you always do, um, you know, just getting up caught up in the carnage. Last round we had a good round going from uh, P28 to P8 in the final. Um, obviously after DNF in I think E3 or something so it's been alright year just another solid year really just coming back after last year oh, well Jacob all the very best of luck for today ah here's his partner in crime HHG14 racing is it on Instagram if I remember correctly or something like that yeah it is. I yeah I got it wrong last time yeah I remember that I remember that because uh, a certain other commentator David Sullivan uh, asked you for your, 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 your Instagram tag and you, you instantly said to me off, off air, I've got it completely wrong. I know. I, what, HHG, I don't know, what is it? Underscore racing. Underscore racing 14. There, there we go. There we go. There We've we had we it. Go. At least. <laughs> but now, how's things been, mate? I mean, um, you know, everyone's now on what I see is the, the 2022 uh, x -Cart. How's How's it been with, with getting to grips with the new chassis and getting up to speed? The new chassis is really good. It's helping a lot with the back end. Because the other, the 21 car, it used to snap a lot in the back end. But the new 21, it helps a lot with the understeer. Uh, and what's the hopes for today then? Uh, not crash. Because every round so far, we've gone off and crashed. So what do you think? Probably top 10, maybe top 15? Top 20. Because it's only one of our first rounds at Wilton. And I'm, I'm not very good. So. Well, Harry, all the very best of luck. Thanks, man. So good to catch up with both Harry Hurstgrover and Jacob Jukes. Um, we 
I, I don't know if we might, if we have time. Uh, time is not on our side here in these paddock walks, but... I do believe we have a bit more time, so... Yes, I am checking my watch, <laughs> okay. just to be on the safe side. Just making but, sure. Yeah. Um, but again, like, just seeing the, the way that teams are organised, like, say, the MCL chassis over there, um, you know, just lined up, ready, hoping that everything's going to go smoothly. Um, but I think also one of the... Harry mentioned something very, very poignant there, John, and that was about the fact that I don't want to crash. Yes. We've heard that from a couple of drivers so far, haven't we, on this uh, paddock walk? Yeah. Just uh, let's not bend it. <laughs> That's always the mentality, because obviously every single driver has, has got budgets, and, you know, not everyone's got a, a bottomless pit of money. I mean, no. karting's no exception, but it is good to see a lot of drivers. But I think... Hang on. We're spinning. <laughs> Hang on, we're spinning. I remember this guy. And Dad as well. How are you keeping, buddy? Are you keeping well? Yeah, I'm keeping well. So you're running in Honda Cadets, I see? Yeah, we're going to move up next year, hopefully. We've just got six more weeks. Six more weeks? Six more weeks, yeah. And then we're moving up. What's the plan for moving up then? Uh, hopefully we're going into Mini Max for the rest of the year and then Junior Rotax next year. Crikey, I still remember when you were running around as a Bambino uh, back in the day when I think I spoke to you on, on a couple of occasions and I still remember this guy when I nicknamed him the coolest dude in the paddock because I, I think I took a particular photo of him and you had your shades on, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the hopes for today in terms of uh, results? Uh, hopefully we can uh, get on the podium and win it today uh, but we have to get the heats first and sort out and uh, get points. That's the aim for this year, uh, this weekend. Well, have a good one today. Good luck. Now I'm trying. I, I'm now going to. Well, I mean, you see now there's more. There's more drivers going past. People so, about. Yeah, yeah the, that's the thing. It's a hive of activity here at Wilton Mill. Now I'm just trying to remember. The, that was it. Oliver Meek. Oliver, Oliver Meek. Meek of Oliver course. Meek. Yes. Recognise so, that name. J Jai Lawrence going past as well. I think that's Jess White. Yes, Jess White. If anyone might remember one particular occasion, uh, she decided to go on wet. It's everyone else. Yes. Oh, it's Catherine, it was Catherine White. It was Catherine White that made the call. Her sister. Now I remember she started from the back of the grid uh, and won. Yeah. So mind mind your backs because everyone's trying to get through yeah. here at the minute. <laughs> We're causing so. the traffic jam. <laughs> One of our air well, well, going well, thank goodness my journey here wasn't via the M25, which is the mobile car park of the United Kingdom. Um, but yeah, just a hive of activity. It's, I mean, I, I've, I've always been impressed whenever I've come here to Wilton Mill, when you see the paddock alive with such a hive of activity, it's really good, isn't it? It, it gives you that great sort of adrenaline buzz because you know there's going to be quite a good race day ahead of it. Yeah, it has that proper buzz about it, doesn't it? And everyone's super excited. Of course, as we said, everyone just trying to have a good time and not bend any cars. You won't be spending unnecessary money, but yeah, everyone just uh, excited to have a good day of racing and travelling, as you say, some people even from Scotland to get here. It must be a worthwhile event to be travelling that kind of distance. Yeah. So uh, but let's make our way into kind of the collecting area, ready for their sessions. Who have we got going out? No, come on. <laughs> Mr Shepherd, how are you? Not too bad, thank you. How are you? All good, mate. You've been a busy bee these uh, these past few months, haven't you? Yeah, definitely, indeed. Just all over the place, really. All around the UK. And I understand you're doing some rental cart uh, action uh, at the Karting World Championship this year in, in late July. Yeah, so going over there in late July, um, near Deviana in Portugal. Uh, should be good. Kart World Finals, so hoping for a good result. And who's, who are you running uh, here this weekend, mate? Uh, Jacob Jukes, number 34 in Junior Rotax. Yeah, who, who had a little catch-up with uh, a bit earlier on. Thank goodness the noise of those engines has sort of uh, stopped drowning out our voices. At least we could just about hear each other. Um, but, you know, you're, you're doing a lot of work behind the scenes in terms of sort of like driver development, setup, and all that kind of stuff. What does that mean to you as a, as a person that's you know competitive in your own right but to be able to give something back to the community you know I love I love coaching these kids you know bringing them through the ranks and I almost enjoy it more than racing myself now you know we had a couple of wins over the last weeks in Honda Cadet and you know it means a lot to me to show the hard work paying off well Brad thanks a lot and all the very best of luck to your drivers 
So, you know, it's great to speak to a, a multitude of different personalities within, within the paddock, just sort of getting an idea of, you know, it just really gives us that feel of how involved people are within karting, whether it's driver development, coaching, setup, and then to the drivers themselves, because they're effectively the stars of the show, aren't they? No, exactly. But I'm not going to lie, mate, I didn't hear a word of that. The roaring two strokes in the collective area meant I didn't catch a word of that interview, I'm afraid. But <laughs> I'm sure it was very good. It looked very interesting. Yeah, well, we could just about hear each other. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully the mic picked us up. But yeah, it's, uh, you know, you can you can just see that it's like the the amount... The, one, one of the things that I love about karting is the amount of different liveries that we get as well. Mm. Yes. Uh, from bright green to red, green and white. And then you... You know, you get all these different sort of uh, looks to the carts as well. And all the different types of nose cones as well. I always find that interesting. Well, uh, I yeah. still didn't really know exactly why you would choose one over the other. I feel like it's more of an aesthetic thing than anything. Well, I mean, this, I mean difference. this is Harry Hurst Grover's um, X cart, which is actually the new 2022 model. Um, and unlike a lot of carts now, um, I remember, first of all, when the Nassau panel, they came out with that sort of like, um, what one of my friends actually called the hot, hot dog aperture. Hot dog, yeah. But then you've got a lot of them where they're bringing in these sort of scoops here. So you can see the, um, the number 57 there. Because uh, it really does look like it's a hot dog bun ready to have a hot dog in it. With mustard so. and ketchup. Um, <laughs> just, and onions, just, maybe. Ketchup. just ketchup. Just ketchup. Uh, okay, no okay. No, that's fair enough. But <laughs> uh, I mean, also looking over just over to, to our immediate left hand side, just the amount of drivers just sitting there primed. I mean, they're always getting advice and then the, the, the pre grid has to be cleared. It really just goes to show how many... I, I mean, this is my first time here at a WMKC event, mm -hmm. and it has not surprised me at all with the yeah. amount of people that are here. You know, when when we had... When things, like, uh, have really sort of started opening up a lot more, people are able to travel a lot more as well and yeah. go all over the place, but just to see that amount of carts in the dummy grid waiting to go out for their practice session... It's a wonderful sight, isn't it? It's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. Yeah, like you were saying, um, so many people assisting with the drivers, but at the end of the day, the buck does pass to the drivers, and they're the ones that have got to put in the results, which for some of the younger ones could be quite a daunting prospect to have that kind of pressure and that amount of people around you in a team to get it done. But it really provides the, the building blocks to a good racing career, so I think it's best for a lot of these younger drivers. But I think we're going to make our way out of the uh, well, dummy I'll just see, area. I'll just see I if I can quit... Uh, catch up with Mikey Teo there. Um, how's things going at the moment? Yeah, um, got some pace at the moment, uh, performing really well, really looking forward for this weekend. Yeah, uh, everything seems to be going quite well. And what's the hope in terms of sort of like the, the positioning for the final? Because obviously getting through the heats, you know, you had one heat yesterday, got another couple today. How, how's the outlook in, a, in a terms of an optimistic sense for you? Well, we're starting from the back, so, you know, it's, it's not going to be easy. So it's all about nipping places one by one and try and uh, aim as a high position as possible. So aiming about top 15, top 10 if possible, but, you know, that's going to be very, very difficult. Uh, but, you know, we'll push through and hopefully we get a good result. OK, Mikey, all the very best of luck. Yeah, thank you. So, yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, ah, right. You're coming on camera, young man. Now, this is the man behind X-Cart, Matty Street. Matty, good morning. Uh, morning. Um, a few drivers here. You've got Sam Spinell, you've got Leon and uh, Leon Barlow and Lucas Blanford in Mini Max. Then you've got uh, Harry Hurst Grover and Jacob Jukes in, in Junior Road Tax. I, I had a quick chat with both the junior drivers, uh, especially with Harry, and he said, like, the, the 2022 cart's been a real improvement on last year's chassis. Yeah, definitely. Like you say, the, the 21 version of the x was the first one in the UK. Um, so we sort of took that away, learned what its weaknesses were and improved that for 22. And we've got a fairly decent package now. And also that's come with quite a bit of silverware this season as well, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Last weekend was really good for us. Um, hope to do the same again this weekend. Well, Matty, all the very best of luck to you and the team. Cheers, man. See you later. So I think really we're we we're, we're coming up to uh, we've got a couple I think we've couple more minutes. We've we got about yeah, we got, I, I I think shall we uh, I had a I had a little chat with Alfie Rich. I think we can go and have a little chat okay, with him yeah, as well. Okay, yeah. Go for it. Definitely a name that I recognize in this championship. Alfie, how are you doing today, mate? How are you feeling? Um all right. Yeah? Feeling good, feeling optimistic? Yeah. Yeah. What are we what are we think for today? How's the weekend been going been going so far? Well, practice wasn't too good, but we were on bad tires and rims, so uh, we did well in heat one though, so hopefully I can do well in two and three. That's good. Are the new tyres on the cart now? Uh, yeah, no. No? No, no new tyres? They're still battling out on the old ones. Yeah. Think you can get a good result on those today? Um, 
hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. I wish you the best of luck, mate. Thank you for speaking with me. Cheers. Cheers. Good luck. Right, I think, well, we've, we've still got quite, well, we've got a couple of minutes, um, but really, I think, just on that sort of note, I think um, uh, 225 drivers, well over 20 races today, including finals later on this afternoon. Yeah. I think the word unpredictability springs to mind, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. And a lot of the drivers, as we've said multiple times, they just don't bin it. I think a lot of drivers just going out there, trying not to bin it, and just seeing as well as they can do, really. Oh, so, uh, well, we, we, we might have one last opportunity one to last speak, opportunity. Let's speak to one then. particular driver. <laughs> so, Freddie Ingram, how are you doing? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. How's, uh, how was things in the, in the first heat yesterday? Um, it went well. I made about six positions first corner. Um, I just kept my position trying to go forward and I finished about 11th or 12th. Um, what's the hopes for, for, for later on today? Maybe a top five, maybe a podium. Who knows? Just whatever, whatever happens. Um, and, and obviously tyres, you know, the surface here can be quite abrasive, obviously, with the amount of load going through the sidewalls. Um, how's it been managing the tyres, obviously, with all the practice yesterday and, the, uh, you know, with warm-up? about to happen and the, the first set of heats are about to get underway. What, what's the thoughts on what the strategy is? It is hard to get these tyres to the temperature. It takes about two, three laps, but um, it should be fine if we're doing one rolling up lap and you get a heat cycle in now. Well, Freddie, all the very best of luck for, for today. See you later, mate. So, big thanks to Freddie Ingram there. I think, really, with that being said, that's it for the paddock walk. Final thoughts, John? That was a really cool coat and helmet combo. It was. That's my final thought. Yeah, that's your final walk. thought. Yeah. My final thought is let's get the racing going, shall we? Let's do it. I'm well excited. So thank you very much for tuning into the Paddock Show, and we'll see you very soon.